This is the Flexi Pro 2019, and right off the bat, let's look at the specifications. A 36 volt, 350 watt brushless motor with an 8AH high quality lithium ion battery offers an average distance of 20 to 30 kilometers per full charge. In accordance with the new LTA regulations on mobility aid devices, the maximum speed of this current version of the Flexi Pro is 15 kilometers per hour, with the medium setting at 10 kilometers per hour and the lowest setting at 5 kilometers per hour. It can carry a maximum weight of 150 kilograms, but do expect the decrease in the maximum attainable speed as more weight is applied on the Flexi Pro. Both the front and rear tires are 10 inch pneumatic tires coupled with a rear dual disc brake. The Flexi Pro weighs in at 29.5 kilograms without accessories. The average charging time from empty to full would be between 3 to 5 hours. Lastly, do check the dimensions to confirm if the Flexi Pro will fit in your car's trunk. First, retract the handle by releasing the lock like so. There is a latch behind the backrest that can be pulled to release the locking mechanism which will allow you to fold down the seat. To fold the entire handle, you will see another lock at the front which can be released by pushing up on the secondary lock, pulling the latch to unlock it, and folding down the handle. If you intend to pull the Flexi around, there is a trolley bar located underneath the Flexi Pro. Unhook the latch, bring up the trolley bar, and then hook it back in place. With the trolley bars out, you can pull the Flexi Pro around easily. When unfolding, if the trolley bars are extended, always remember to hook it back underneath the scooter as the bar may impede movement over humps. Bring up the handlebars and lock the latch back in place. To pull the seat up, once again, pull on the latch behind the backrest and raise the seat up. The final step will be to raise the handlebar to the desired height. The rail at the back can be pulled out by unhooking the latch and pulling the rail out to the second stop, then hooking the latch back in place. With the rail pulled out, this serves as a convenient place to put a basket or bulky items like boxes on. Do remember to retract the rail when not in use. The wheels at the back help to prevent overturn, which is an important safety feature that greatly minimizes the likelihood of the Flexi Pro falling backwards, either during a sudden acceleration or when traveling up slopes. The 10 inch pneumatic wheels need to be pumped to 45 PSI for both the rear wheels and 36 PSI for the front wheel, so do check on them regularly. When using the brake, there is a locking mechanism that can hold it in place. As shown here, this prevents the Flexi Pro from rolling away. Hold down the brake again and release to disengage the lock. Pressing the on off button turns on the Flexi Pro. The default setting when first turned on is always neutral, which means that it won't move when the throttle is engaged. The speed setting can be set and changed using the mode button. There's also a power meter indicating how much battery is left. The button with the light icon toggles the headlights on and off, and the green button at the bottom sounds the horn. This is the grip throttle that powers the motor when pulled. The switch at the bottom toggles between forward drive, indicated by the letter D, and reverse drive, indicated by the letter R. The battery is detachable and can be removed from the Flexi Pro by using the key provided to unlock it. This is the charging port, and you can charge the battery either away or while it is connected to the Flexi Pro. The opposite side of the battery has a battery indicator that will show how much battery is left when you click on the power button. When connecting the battery back into the Flexi Pro, remember to align the grooves under the battery to the grooves of the battery compartment in order to attach it correctly, and then lock it back in place with a key. And that's the end of the video. Do drop a comment below if you have any questions or need clarification on any of the steps provided in the video.